Hello, my friends. I wanted to speak to you today about um, planning. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Because I had a call this morning with my uh, group of women that I coach who are in maintenance or practicing maintenance, and planning came up. I coached a few of them on it, and their thoughts about <laughs> one of them said, their thoughts about planning, one of them said, you might have been right all this time. <laughs> I was like, funny that, wouldn't that be crazy if I was? <laughs> I encourage everybody to set a plan each day, right? Set it ahead of time. The reason I want you to set it ahead of time is so that, let me just get this right, so that you're using your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that sets, that can set a good plan that doesn't need instant relief, doesn't need comfort, isn't emotionally driven. Um, that part of your brain that uh, can think of like the big picture, the goals that you have and what you want to achieve and sets a plan for that. And then in the moment, if we're trying to decide in the moment what we want to put on our plan or what we want to eat, it's the wrong part of the brain that we're accessing to make those decisions. So setting a plan ahead of time is key. And the other reason why you set a plan is like one of them, get this off. One of them um, said that she's just had the shift. We coached her through that as well, but she was thinking planning is restrictive. Planning takes away my freedoms. Planning is, um, makes me feel like like I want to rebel. And now where she is, is she's truly believing planning gives her freedom. It creates freedom from those moments in the day. If you haven't set a plan and you're thinking, I want to have that, but it's not on, like, it's not a good food. I shouldn't have it, but I really want it. Should I have it? Can I justify it? Should I have it and start again tomorrow? Or should I have it and just that and then I'll be fine and I'll be good? There's so much mental drama and like energy spent in those moments. So if you have a plan and you become someone who shows up to their plan just through practice and through coaching and mindset work, you create so much freedom for yourself. So for me now, I've got a plan. I just stick to it. Why? Like, why not? It just sticking to my plan, ha having a plan and sticking to it makes me feel amazing. I feel so proud of myself. I have so much energy because I've put on the plan what I know creates an energetic body for me. Um, I just feel incredible. And I know if I don't, if I have something that's not on my plan, I will potentially feel lethargic. I'll feel tired. There'll be a layer of disappointment and all of that. So it's not even worth not showing up to my plan. We do put exceptions on our plan. So like wine, chocolate, chips, whatever you want can be on your plan. You don't need to deprive yourself. So I encourage you to set yourself a plan for tomorrow or today if it's morning and then get to it. Make it realistic. That's another key, right? It has to be realistic for you. But set yourself a realistic plan today. Show up to it. Make yourself proud. Have a beautiful day.